Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful rondel beaded earrings. They are really fine and really beautiful and I'm showing really easy step by step so I'm sure by the end of this video you will be able to make them by yourself. They are like a beginner's level tutorial. Believe it or not, these earrings are made with the same stitch that I made this Christmas beaded spiral earrings. This is absolutely the same stitch which is beginner's level stitch and um, it's really easy to make so don't worry about making them. And if you don't have rondelles you could put round beads inside. I think 4 or 6 millimeter beads, I'm not sure, but you could fix the sides very easily. And if you want to support me you could also subscribe if you still haven't and hit that bell button and if you hit the bell you will be notified for my next video where I will show you how to turn this beautiful element into a ring and you will be able to make a beautiful set for present or for yourself. And if you want to support me you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. I'll answer to all of your questions down there in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. If you want to support the channel you could also check my store that you will find there in description and you could make PayPal donations if you want. Okay, and now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for these earrings what I need are really simple stuff. I need 8 o beads in one color and here I'm using faceted crystals or also called rondelles and they are 6 by 4 millimeters and here I use ear wires. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters and here I use needle size 10 and of course scissors. Now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and now I have half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to take four of these beautiful 8 o beads okay and I'm going to slide them down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot okay and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going with my tail thread twice through this loop and pulling and then I will make one more knot okay just like that then I will go through to these two beads in that direction I'm pulling okay then I will go one more time through these two beads. In this way I'm making my beads stay next to each other. Okay, going several times around these beads. Then I will go only through this bead here. Like that. Only through the first one. I will take one bead and I will go back through this one and I'm pulling. Okay, now this is what I have and I will take two more beads like this and I will go through this first bead here. In this way I'm forming the so-called herringbone stitch, okay? I will go with my thread over this bead and then go through these two beads. Your thread should pass here over this bead and not behind it. Okay, then I'm going through this bead taking just one bead and go in this direction. Okay, you see now what I have. See? 
then I'm going to take again two beads go through the first bead here again go with your thread here in front of this bead and then go through these two beads with your needle here is what I'm doing then go only through the first take just one eight oh and go here okay now you see what I have here and I'm going to take two more beads like this go here through the first one go in front of this one like I did before pull your thread and hold it with your fingers here to be easier for you and go through these two beads then in order to add your next bead go here through the first one pull Take just one seed bead and go here. Pull. Now this is what I have. I will show you one more time. Two rows, uh, two beads. Making my next row by going through this one. Then making my thread go here and through these two beads pull go back through this one take one HO and go here through this one okay like this now I have one, two, three, four, five, six rows, and I want to make twelve rows the same way. So six more, and then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Continue the same way, and if you forgot how I did it, rewind this video and see the steps. It's all the same until the end. Okay, guys, and when I continue beading, this is what I have. I have twelve rows here and 11 beads that are sticking out like this okay and now I'm going to show you my next step and for my next step I'll turn my work around okay and as I'm exiting here you see I'm exiting through this bead here this one this is where my thread is you see and what I do is that I go here through this bead from my first row okay I'm connecting my last row and my first row and this here is my tail thread okay this is my main thread okay now I'm going through these two beads making sure that my thread is again in front of this bead here okay I'm just connecting those beads Connecting them like this. This is going here, pulling. And now this is what I have. My first row and my last row are connected, you see. And here, what I need to add at this place is one more. A bit that's sticking out okay and in order to add it I'm going through this bit here well make sure your thread is in this direction and not go behind this bit like that pull and here what I need to take is one more bit okay like this and as I'm exiting out of here I'm going through the next bead okay 
I'm fixing it and pulling. Now I have my last bead from this row and see what a beautiful circle. You could put round bead inside this circle, it will still look really cool. But this time I'm going to put a rondel in it, okay? And I'm taking my rondel and I'm pushing this inside, okay? And in order to fix it, I will go here through some beads in this direction. And I will find where the hole of my rondel is. I will go through my rondel and I will exit here out of my next bead. Okay, then I want to go around all of those beads here in this direction. And I will find again the hole of my bead, of my rondel, and pull. And then you could go reinforcing your work, okay? Okay, and here I am between those two beads and here is the place where I will attach my ear wire. Okay, and in order to do this, I'm going here through this bead. I'm taking my ear wire like this and I'm going through it, pulling. sliding it down, then I'm going through the other bead that's sticking out and pull again, then one more time here again through this one. And you see now it's better if your thread is transparent like the monofilament that I'm using. Okay, go several times around those beads to attach your ear wire. Okay, and then go through some beads in this direction after you attach it. And you could go here at the back of your earring because this is the front part and this is the back. And you could see this by the way you attached your ear wire. Then here I will make a loop between my beads like that. And I'm going once, then I'm going second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling. Then I'm going through my following seed bead. And I could repeat this step several more times by making more and more knots. And when I make my last knot, I go through the following seed bead and cut my thread. And then I will cut my tail thread here. And now guys, my earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my crystal beaded earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And if you want to support me, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And when you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye from me.